<laughs> Hello, Malty. Mystical, magical, mischievouses. And as I won't mention, of course, introducing Ralphie Review 1020. Welcome to the Bothy. Welcome to my channel, Ralphie.com. I'm Ralphie. I do whiskey reviews and I'm about to do a whiskey review for you. A little bit in depth, a little bit more detail. Um, but before I do so, a big malt mention. Thank you to Francis Osakan131 for that malt mention. So here's my whiskey. Um, something a little bit different. It's not Scotch whiskey. This is Indian whiskey. I've previously reviewed an Indian, Indian whiskey on this channel called Indri, Indri Trini, back in review 987. And uh, that was back in July 23. It was the first Indian whiskey I reviewed and it got quite a lot of attention under the radar. So this is well, this is a, a little bag with a little sort of metal thingy on it. I'm going to keep the bag, it's quite nice, although I don't think the bag will be lasting for long, but it's what they put the bottle in to, to give it an extra bit extra padding here. Um, this is a very interesting whiskey actually. This is called Rampur Asava, or Asiava, okay? It is non-chill filtered, they say so on the side of the bottle, and I've got to hand it to them. What a significant positive move. The whiskey's hazy, can you see that in the bottle? The whiskey isn't clear. This is a bold decision by the producers and a, a very astute, accurate decision because it taps into the fact that the demand in the market, the global market for quality spirits is for authenticity of presentation without the industrial cosmeticization of over, over filtering for cosmetic appearances and the addition of artificial sourced colouring. This has got a slight red tint to it, almost a kind of rose tint. It You wouldn't have that with caramel. This is a, a red wine cask matured Indian whiskey. And what's happened is it's given a a really interesting depth and substance. In Europe, it's been very slow to catch on, but I'll come back to that shortly. But when it has, people have been delightfully surprised. On the nose, it's whiskey. Right. They've got that cereal grain note, which is quite important. You can also tell immediately that it is a wine cask finished whiskey because the clarity of the wine cask presence is obvious. And it's a good quality wine cask. It's a decent one. Do you know they do make wine in India? Don't hear much about it, but they do make wine. There's also, on first nose, the presence of the exotic to a northern palate, because I'm a northern European. I'm very familiar with Scotch whisky, so I do find it exciting and interesting to try a whisky from another part of the world which genuinely has different flavours that you don't find in Scotch whisky. And you're finding it here, particularly what's called rose apple and also a little bit of lychee. Certainly there's some dry guava notes going on. There's some real soft, fresh, gingery notes, almost syrup ginger. 
it's it, it doesn't take you long to start, start to become seduced by this because its primary primary strength is it's genuinely different it's authentically delivered a hazy almost cloudy spirit that is so positive that is such a good thing to do and then as soon as you knows it we've not even tasted this yet and we're already getting a lot of positives when we taste it bright young Turkish delight cinnamon rose water so you're getting these Middle Eastern confectionery notes but it's coming from further east from a northern European reference it's young the I would put it no more than about two to three years old but it's Indian whiskey and I would treat Indian whiskey like I would treat Brazilian whiskey it's equatorial whiskey interestingly when you when you're examining this when you're buying it this bottle you want to go on to Google Maps and actually go to Rampur Rampur is a city in north central India just at the foothills of the Himalayas it's east of Delhi and west of Nepal this gives it geographical location which helps us understand what we're smelling and what we're tasting the provenance of its circumstances another thing that it really helps when we're doing our investigation is that the distillery company itself is called Radical Kaitan Limited and was founded in 1943 so this distillery has been operating for well this distillery company has been operating for about 75 years and that over 75 years and this gives them this gives them pedigree they're not coming in here as inexperienced have a go distilleries they know what they're doing they have history successful history and it further adds to the authenticity of the experience and then there's more so this is going in a very positive direction i'm going to add a drop of water here i'm going to add about not as full teaspoons i'm going to add about three milliliters of water so i'm going to take it easy and i'll add a little bit more later but more about the actual bottling itself it's Produce of India, of course, bottled at 45%. Unchill filtered, you can see it. It's great to see it. It means that unlike some Scotch whiskey distilleries, they're not playing games with us, claiming that their product is unchill filtered when in fact it's been heavily filtered without the chill. That is so patronizing. But here, we don't have that situation we have the integrity of the delivery on show it's saying non-chill filtered you look at the liquor is it clear no it's hazy what does that mean it's non-chill filtered i really appreciate that by the way i really really do then of course in the back label we have a batch number batch number 855 and its manufacturing date was 8th, right, the 8th month of 2020. So we have further integrity um, with this particular brand. And it says on it, interestingly, I've never seen this before, for overseas export only. For There it is in the back. For overseas export only. And um, I'm very impressed with this. Classic Indian, right? Classic Indian red wine casks. Did I say they produce wine in India? Mm, yes, I did. Not a lot of people know that. Uh, what else would I add? Uh, it's also been matured in American bourbon barrels. There we are. More provenance, more information. Rampur is starting to put some Scotch single malt whiskey producers to shame. Hopefully some Scotch malt whiskey producers will take note. 
and evolve to meet the growing standards of the international single malt market. Cheers. When you add water, the complexity arrives. There is, there's oak wood, but there's an aromatic nature to that oak wood. This is regional oak wood. The depth and substance of the exotic notes of what I'm I've, this what I've smelled before are some forms of hardwood. I'm smelling that here. The rose rose apple is absolutely a mainstay of the delivery of the nose and the taste. Rose apples are little green apples with a pink inside that taste a bit like Turkish Delight. That's what rose apples are. Spicy notes. Spices are subdued. There's a touch of soft cinnamon. Um, and there's a cherry note as well. A soft pink cherry, a light cherry, almost a white cherry note, which is quite exotic, but I have tasted them. and They're quite delightful, actually. But... It's so original, so different, I'm really enjoying it. And this is getting such good reviews. Um, what else would I like to add? Um, this brand is getting serious traction now in the British whiskey market for a very obvious reason. Uh, but I'll cover that reason in my next review uh, when I'm giving you a little bit more provenance, a little bit more investigation into Rampur as an Indian whiskey brand. My recommendation is look out for it and also look out, uh, look out for rising prices, okay? There's going to be rising prices as well. I'm already seeing this starting to happen and I'm going to go into that in more detail in Ralphie Review 1020 Extras. Soft, delights, really such a restrained smokiness in this. It's so delicate. It's For a young, young whiskey, it's a very busy event in the glass. The nose, by the way, in itself is fascinating. For a, for a seasoned old Scotch whisky hack like myself, I have to say I find this truly refreshing. Very well made. Soft cider notes. Some distant tequila notes. The barley citrus is different. It's not a barley grain I'm used to. Um, there's something else going on in here which is new to my palate and I can't pin down and I'm not going to speculate. I'm honestly wondering if almost as if there's some, some other grain in this apart from barley or is it some Himalayan variety of barley I'm simply not aware of it, it could be it could be anything like that so do I recommend this absolutely let's give this a malt mark I'm very impressed with this and it's going to show 84 out of 100 from the Bothy that is an impressive mark this is an impressive malt. I highly recommend it to you. And I don't know because the bag, I find the bag, particularly because it's nylon, I find it a bit weird. Um, but having said that, Shivas do this in their Royal Salute bottlings. Um, if I was Rampur Distillery, I'd just discontinue the bag. It's simply not necessary. Um, what I would do instead is I would get rid of the bag and up the strength 
by one more percent, make it 46 percent. And I'd also, if it is the thing to do, if it's the right thing to say, is just say it's natural colour. It looks natural colour. State the integrity of the delivery. Um, and this is what is really going to get noticed by whiskey drinkers, but more importantly, it, it's a very important part of online conversation because online conversations are selling a lot more whiskey and getting a lot more attention, attention to brands than it ever used to happen. And the, that trend, I can assure you, from where I'm sitting here in the Bothy, it's most certainly going to continue the influence of the internet. It's only just starting. Some distilleries have still to get their bearings, um, but Rampour, lots of experience. They've delivered an absolute banger of a malt. That's This is their inaugural, this is their, their, um, their first moment into the market and I want to conclude by saying I paid £42 for this bottle of whiskey. Because in Europe, nobody wants to buy Indian whiskey until they discover how good Indian whiskey can be. Here in the Bothy, I'm delighted to share this review with you because not that many reviewers, whiskey reviewers, extend beyond the more obvious review brands because it affects your viewing figures. I don't care. Good whiskey is good whiskey and I will find it and I will review it if I if it's in my if it's within reach in my local market. Rampur absolutely ticks the boxes. Excellent stuff. Ralphie recommended. We'll see you soon.